It is interesting because I love uh, Doc and um, I love Mark Cuban and Cuban came on the show and they got into this little broader skirmish and we thought it was funny for radio. We, we liked both of them. And Cuban said, uh, he, he, Doc said, I just didn't like the way Mark handled it, which I agree with. And we played the tape for Doc, uh, for Mark Cuban on the set, and Mark got a little ticked off. We'll play the bite of Mark Cuban kind of firing back at a Clippers coach and a good dude, Doc Rivers. First of all, he obviously didn't actually hear or see what I said because I didn't say a whole lot. You know, um, I think I said I, re I responded to DJ's Twitter apology, and that's pretty much it. I haven't said a whole lot about it all, so I don't know where he's getting what he's got. But I think the most interesting thing is it shows you what someone will do when their entire future is vanishing in front of them. And that's exactly what Doc did, and I give him credit for it. His, life, his, his professional life was over. That's pretty harsh. I don't, <laughs> it's I don't ridiculous, but that's okay. Now, when you see Mark Cuban, hi, how you doing? Do you defend your guy? Sure, I defend our guy. No, no question. I mean, Mark and I had, let me call them some, some firm words with each other when we first, when we first uh, uh, met uh, after this whole thing happened because there was you know, a bunch of back channel. I yes. Mean, he did what's fair. He came after our guy. We did what's fair. We saved our guy. We do this all the time in business. Somebody comes and tries to poach your people, you're on it, baby. You just don't let it go. But there was a little bit of weird back channel. We took it on, and now we move on. And, you know, I've known Mark since the 80s. Remember, he grew up in the computer business? Yeah. So I've known him a long, long time, and we clear the air. And, you know, now we're back working on, on problems in the NBA. How do we grow? How do we improve the officiating? All of the stuff that you would want owners to do who share a common view that getting basketball right and exciting is super important. I love that you're so honest that you acknowledge that you had heated words. I appreciate that honesty because a lot of owners, most owners won't say that. They'll give me a PR baloney. Uh, but Mark, Mark and I are those kinds of guys yes. individually and together. I know Mark well enough. Hey, I called Mark a bunch of times before I bought a team. Mark was generous with his time. So we both got off our chest what we needed to, and, and we move on. And I, you know, I have great uh, respect for Mark and the passion he brings to the game of basketball.